do not have in my closet is a yellow gingham skirt with ruffles all the way around. excited. I've gotten my entire closet all ready for spraying. We've got all the inspirations with the Sailor, the Rambling Rose, and the Traveling Troop, which as you can see today, I am rocking the Sailor. And now we need to go thrift all of those ideas. I definitely have, you know, the characters here hanging in my closet, but I always like to add a few new pieces to the collection. So we're going to go thrifting today, which is my favorite thing to do. And I think it's one of your favorite things to watch me do. So we're off to a Savers in La Mirada, which is one of my original thrift stores. And it's going to be so much fun. Before we head off to go thrifting, I just want to introduce you to today's sponsor, which is Homeaglow. Homeaglow is a five-star house cleaning service that has really affordable prices. Spring is here. I've been having so much fun transitioning my home for spring, also my closet for spring. And then when I do all of that, I always then bring in Homeaglow to do the cleaning after I've done all the organizing. And honestly, Homeaglow makes it so easy. All you have to do is go to homeaglow.com. You pick the date and the time, the duration of the cleaning that you're looking for. Then they're gonna suggest cleaners in your area who are available for the cleaning. You'll get to see their photos, read their reviews, make sure you find the perfect match. You choose a cleaner that you wanna work with and then you'll receive an email from them and they will confirm the cleaning with you. I love this because it can be a really quick turnaround. I was actually traveling last week and then over the weekend I was able to hop on Homeaglow's website, book a cleaner for this morning. Ah, my house feels so refreshed for spring and I just feel so ready. Homeaglo also has options for you so you can sign up for their forever clean membership which is gonna save you about $30 an hour on all future cleanings. And you can book unlimited cleaning starting at $19 an hour and you're guaranteed with the Homeaglo happiness guarantee. And Homeaglo's cleanings are available here in the US only. So you can take home cleaning off your plate this spring and go to homeaglo.com slash bjones or you can scan the QR code right here and you're gonna get the first three hours of cleaning for only $19. So don't forget to click the link down below or go to homeaglow.com slash bjones, use this QR code as well, and you will get the first three hours for only $19. Right, so we are gonna go off to the thrift store. Before we do, I thought I would break down my outfit because I am definitely embracing the sailor today. First of all, can we talk about how amazing this sweater is? I found it thrifting last year and what's hilarious is I didn't think of it as a nautical sweater, but it's so nautical. But I liked playing with the brown and the white instead of the traditional nautical colors. And then I paired it with this zebra print midi length skirt, which I thought was a fun juxtaposition for this look to not be full on nautical. I think juxtaposition always helps balance things out, but we did go with the chocolate brown color palette and I did some woolly socks, the big platform heels that I wear a lot. These are Cezanne. And then this is actually Cezanne as well. I felt like this woven bag felt like a little bit more of a touch of spring. You know, just your typical day of thrifting wearing a sailor hat as well. <laughs> But I'm excited to go see what we can find at the thrift store. Taking with me all the inspiration that we talked about in the last few weeks of the Sailor, the Traveling Troop, and the Rambling Rose. So we're going to take all of those inspirations. I will also pop up some images as I'm thrifting, referencing some of you know the characters and what I'm looking for. I definitely feel like I need some more florals, which is really funny that I don't have a lot of florals. As I was putting my spring closet together, I realized I don't have a ton of florals to work with. So I do think like some springtime florals would be great to add. I do have a lot of the traveling troop, like that very circus inspired pieces, but I'm always down for more of that. And then, you know, classics that will fit into that sailor as well. So anyways, I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's go. Welcome to the La Mirada Savers. We were here just a few weeks ago. This is a little bit further away from my house, but I love to come to this location just because this is one of the very first places I started thrifting. And I do feel like it's fun to mix it up and not always go to the same stores. So we are on a mission today to find some of those spring things. I will just share as we find, and I think we should go inside. some of 
these accessories here at the front because you know I love an accessory and to me those are the pieces that make the difference on the outfit so I'm going to see what they have in the accessories. style necklaces and I feel like this is the perfect choker necklace. I'm so excited about that choker necklace. That's exactly what I was looking for and we talked about the one on Etro which was more of a brassy colored one but to me that is very similar style and honestly I don't have a lot of chokers so I will be adding that to my closet and then I'm going to go ahead and do accessories since I'm in that mindset. I'm going to go see what they have in like shoes, bags, belts, hats, all of that. with that ballet core. There's actual ballet slippers here. I don't know if these will fit or not, but I kind of love this idea. Or hats today but now I'm gonna move into light jackets and then just start moving through the rest of the store make me think of what we saw on Etro's runway with black leather with bold print colored you know skirts and dresses. I think this one's probably too big for me but oof, it's pretty cool. because I have too much of an addiction to it, but I do love this coat. It does remind me of kind of that rambling rose a little bit with the utility kind of hardware outerwear and then styled up more with florals. This one is so cozy and cute. Check it out. And even has a hood. pretty lacy white sheer skirt that I think is really cute and perfect for spring. I also really love that it's scalloped here on the bottom with the floral detail and then I think this could just be like really floaty and romantic. So cute. This is Butter Yellow, which is another huge trend for spring. Uh, this is actually new with tags. I think it's Uniqlo. Yeah, it's Uniqlo. And then the detail that I really like about this, and I meant to talk about this in my last video, and then I totally forgot, but the detail is the ball collar, B-A-L collar. And I'm really just loving those right now. I don't know what it is. I think it's very 90s, reminiscent of 90s, but kind of like the buttons come all the way up to the neckline, and then you have your collar right here. And it makes it really cute to just do one button to wear all the way buttoned or to wear it open but I think this is so cozy and cute for spring. I just found this 80s dress. I think this is really fun. I love the really dramatic floral print all over it and it has this sash detail on it that you tie to the other side. What I like about this is maybe turning this in more to a top or a layer and not necessarily wearing it as a dress, but it does have some of that kind of rambling rose feel to it and I love just all the bold colors of it. This found I love an 80s Victorian moment and I found this lace dress with this little wraparound detail but what's so cute about it is the bow in the back and it's giving me some of the, I feel like 
this could go in a few different directions, but I love maybe taking this in that ballet core vibe with the bow detail at the back. And then maybe even wearing it with something over it just as a skirt and you see the detail of the bow. This is such a sweet floral dress. It's definitely the rambling rose with kind of more of that country floral. It even has little ties that you cinch in the empire waist, but I think this could be so cute. Okay, this is so much fun. This dress, peach, I love the shape of it. It's like empire waist and then hugs the body and then flares out with those little pockets and then even buttons at the back. This is so unique. Oh, this is what I look for when I look for dresses, just something that feels really different that I can't find anywhere else. And then cinched in with a belt, screaming spring slash summer holiday. One thing I talked about that I needed was more floral options and I love this, this little uh, vintage dress. It's been handmade. It has cute little details right here with the little buttons, but then the pleats here I think are what make it really interesting. Again, belted and I love this more ditzy floral where it's like a light detail floral with little polka dots all over it. Definitely very sweet, very fun. Fun. Like, look at this dress. I think if you have a wedding or if you have anything that you have to get slightly dressed up for, you should just always wear a vintage dress. I just think it's so much more fun. And look at this with the leg of mutton sleeves and the little detail here, the rhinestones. Oh, so cute. I also found this amazing bubblegum pink dress. Look at these sleeves. This is definitely one of those that could be really fun made into a top as well because of the amazing sleeve detail here. I am such a sucker for these, what I like to call mother of the bride type shackets, but look at the back of this one. It has a big cutout and another bow in this bold green. And then I also found this one goes with a skirt, but it's got this little pink with the lace. And then at the back of this one, is also a bow. So definitely bows are having a moment in the thrift store today. But I mean, how much fun is that one with the cutout in the back? Oh, moved into skirts. And I just of this that is so cute, this gingham in again, butter yellow. I love the little ruffle detail all over the bottom. It's definitely like a 1950s skirt. This to me feels could actually be in the rambling rose or also in the traveling troop as I'm calling it but very whimsical and playful I love this I love a midi length pencil skirt and when they're wrap skirts that's even more fun this navy little window pane print it's so cute and it definitely it's all the nautical feelings that I'm loving right now but I love just the shape of the skirt for me it really works and I just think it's so chic and you can kind of style up in a lot of different ways and in the summer it's so easy with little flat sandals so I'm excited about this one their pants I always like to look at any of their active wear so let's head to men's
anything. So I think now I'll go try everything on. This is pretty cute. I love the print on this. I even, I put it over my skirt. I kind of like the idea of it a layering piece as well. But very, very cute. And then looking at this white skirt, it's really cute. I feel like I have a lot of kind of lacy skirts that I love, and so I don't feel like I need this one, but it is very fun. This yellow coat is so cute. I love the shape of it, and it's so cozy. I love that it's butter yellow. Look at the collar detail too. Look at this mother of the bride top. I think the selling point the open back it definitely is a little bit bigger on me i feel like it would need to be taken in but it's so gorgeous i love this color i love the contrasting black detail on it the little rhinestones and then of course the bow such a fun dress i'm holding it because it's not buttoned and also it does need to be brought in a little bit but i think cinched in at the waist and I love the little fit and flare detail of it. It feels nautical but then bright and happy version of it. This is cute but I don't feel like this dress is really me so I'm going to pass on this one. And then again this one's cool but I just don't feel like I need it. I don't love the shape on this one either. This was so much fun to just dive into the thrift store and then let some of the spring energy come my way and find some fun new spring things. I'm actually not going to take home all of it just because I don't feel like I need all of it. I did really love this dress but I'm also trying to think about things that I know I'll get to wear a lot and I don't know if I'll wear this as much. And then you got to think about too, you know, what is worth getting tailored or worked on if it needs some work. So example, I love this, but it would need to be tailored. And I do feel like I have a lot of my amazing reworked dresses already that kind of fit into this spot in my closet. The thing that's worth it to me is this amazing dress. It's worth it to me to get this taken in and really fit because I just think this is so neat, unique and like nothing I have in my closet. I also really love this color and it feels like some of the sailor but in like a melon color. And again I love both of these pieces as well but I do have a lot of this already in my closet. I've got to remember what I currently have and not overwhelm my closet with pieces that I already have. So I'm, I'm going to pass on these but they're so amazing. Something I do not have in my closet is a yellow gingham skirt with ruffles all the way around. Definitely very traveling troop and very fun. And I'm also going to grab that choker necklace as well. And I feel like I've really ticked the box on a few of the things that I was really looking for. I'm so excited and ready for spring. All right, I'm excited. Not a lot today, but that's how thrifting goes. You kind of have to just roll with what you find, but I do feel like these three things feel very spring. They feel like fresh, things that I don't currently have in my closet. And I'm just excited for some of this color to come back into my closet. Spring definitely brings more fun colors and prints. So I'm gonna have some fun with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And finally, always play dress up. Bye.